New at five, there are new developments in this shocking shooting. It was caught on camera right on the streets in Stanford yesterday morning. It looked like the Wild West out there, right outside some popular night spots. You can see someone open fire just feet from that camera shooting into the crowd. Five people were hurt. Today, one suspect was in court. News 8's Erin Logan was there. She has those new developments tonight. It was like a violent movie scene being filmed outside Tino's nightclub as police say Dayron Wills fired multiple shots into a large crowd of people. Now, a day and a half later, people still can't believe what they saw. This is the man who admitted to police that he is the gunman you see firing a number of shots on West Park Place. But 22-year-old Dayron Wills' lawyer says it was in self-defense. When he uh, presented um, the weapon, that he instructed individuals to stand down, and then that's when the threat continued to come towards him. Wills tells police a man in this big crowd approached him and punched him in the right side of his face, and the man made a third attempt to strike him as he opened fire. Court papers say, quote, the shooting victim stumbles, and Wills then opens fire with an initial volley of eight shots being fired in the direction of the shooting victim in rapid succession. Police say five people were struck. Fortunately, no one was seriously injured. This man says his cousin was one of the victims, and he's thankful a witness caught this chaos and violence on tape. Mr. Wills, for, for hurting D and, and the other people, I hope they put you away. Will's lawyer says he has a license to carry because of his job as a security guard. He does not have a record and was very cooperative with police. Will's bond was set at a million dollars and he'll be back in court July 28th. Police say this investigation is far from over. They believe there were many witnesses. If you know anything, call the Stanford police. In Stanford, Aaron Logan, News 8.